Ali, uh, let's start with last weekend in the Anglo-Welsh. I know there was a great disappointment in the camp, but let's reflect on the whole campaign as a whole and lots of positives for you as coaches. Yeah, I mean, from a start of, of picking up no points at Quinns uh, in the first game to then pick up um, three bonus point winning games, you know, and, and getting a home semi-final was, was fantastic. Pushed through stronger in the, in the semi. Uh, and we just come up a little bit short in the end, but, um, you know, some fantastic learning for, for the guys right the way through the competition. You've seen guys develop into Premiership players through the competition, uh, and also we got some really good learns about how to perform and play in a, in a final. And, uh, and hopefully there will be, you know, lessons that will be learnt for the for future. And hopefully we get into more finals with these guys, and, and they can they can see them through. One of the things Rob said immediately after, though, you have to learn quicker after a final defeat. And I guess this weekend is the perfect opportunity to answer that. Yeah, we, we've, we've had one eye on the Premiership, there's no doubt, over the last two weeks. So we have been working behind, behind the scenes on that. But, um, it, you know, we've got to take those, those learns quickly into the end of the season. You know, there's guys there that could be well be uh, hopefully performing in a, in a Premiership final if, if we get that far. But that all starts with this weekend. You know, we can't think too far ahead. We're, our priority has been all week to train well on the day that we lie. Um, and then we've got to push through that right into the weekend and say this weekend's fixture is, is the biggest one for us this season. I was going to say, Sale, you know from past experience, they're never easy to play against. They get in your face. Um, what are you expecting from them this weekend? No, they'll be physical, competitive. You know, they'll have been preparing for this for, for two or three weeks. So uh, we know they're going to come come after us. Uh, we've got to make sure we combat that and, and go back at them with, with more, really. Um, so, you know, it'll be a good contest. Uh, there's no, no questions about that. Um, but we, we've got to make sure we focus on ourselves and make sure we put ourselves in a good frame of mind to perform in what are you know hugely important Premiership fixtures now. Reflect a little bit on that last block though, you couldn't have asked for a, a better block really, could you from results wise and, and points that you gained? No, look, 18 points from the from the 20 um, and, and you know tough fixtures in there as well so um, it, we were really pleased with that um, and, we, and we really peaked towards the end of that and the performance at Leicester you know was, was right up there. Uh, what we've got to do now is have, having rested the guys up, they've got to try and hit right back at that level straight away. Um, it's almost like a you know there's one game this weekend and then we get a rest the next weekend. So it's sort of an isolated game. We've got to throw everything into it and, and you know hopefully we'll come out with a win. Did the Leicester performance give you a benchmark that you've got to try and hit now or even better? Yeah, we want to improve beyond that. You know, it, it was uh, probably our, uh, one of our only wet weather games, but um, we came through it, adjusted it tactically really, really well. You know, uh, got a game plan uh, spot on and we're still able to, you know, score four tries and, and pick up a bonus point, which was, which hugely, you know, influential in, in the makeup of the, the season. You know, I'm pretty sure of that. So, um, you know, we're pleased with where we are, but obviously, um, hopefully we get drier conditions coming through, through towards the end of the season and that will develop our game in different ways but uh, we're in a good place at that point and so it's about maintaining and increasing on, on that performance. Five games to go business end of the season, three of them are here at Sandy Park, you've got to make the most of that advantage haven't you? Yeah, look every game's important now, we know that um, you know, you looked um, when we, when we came through the, this block of four, we knew it's, it's a bit of a disjointed finish to the season, but also it gives you good time to prepare and uh, and, and get everyone up and running and, and, and fit without being in in Europe. So um, we, we've got you know great some tough fixtures coming up, but equally we've got an opportunity to prepare excellently for them, and we should therefore perform well in those games. Guys back from the Six Nations, a team that's played in the Anglo Welsh for the last two weeks. Uh, selection tough, I'd imagine, as always, but uh, a whole squad now really competing for those starting spots. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic for you know for us as coaches. Uh, the players that start at the weekend know they've got to put in a shift. If they, if they don't, if they slip off their standards, they know someone's capable of taking that, taking over and, and, and increasing that performance. So uh, they've got to be on their toes. Um, which is great for us, it drives selection, gives you a few headaches, but they're, they're the right ones to have. So, and as I say, the majority of the lads are fit and, or there or thereabouts now, uh, and we're looking for a big push towards the end of the season.